Yeah, hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Ayush with us. So Ayush, would you like to introduce yourself once? Uh, so my name is Ayush Kumar Gupta. I'm from Durgapur, West Bengal. So currently I'm working at Paytm uh, since last four months. I've joined recently. And uh, prior to that, I was uh, working with Nope. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much, yeah. Right, right. So like he mentioned, recently he has cracked Paytm, that two off campus. So we'll be getting to know his journey to cracking Paytm as a software engineer, how he prepared the interview process and everything in between. So Ayush, would you like to start us off with your interview experience? Like what all happened? How did it go? Uh, so basically, uh, there were three rounds of interview. Uh, like the first one is the OA, uh, not the interview, I, like, like two rounds of interview. And the, the OA consists of uh, three questions. Uh, like the first one was easy one and the other two was like lead code medium. and uh, we had around 90 minutes to solve it yeah so that was our first round and uh, that's that's so in OA, do you remember the type of questions like the topic or the data structure algorithm involved in the top in the questions uh like as far as i remember one was linked list question uh the other one was array medium question and the third question was like kind of ad hoc one yeah mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, after that, you had two interviews, right? Uh, yeah, after that, OA, there were two rounds of interview, data structure algorithm mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, managerial discussion plus uh, uh, LLD. So it's like they, they need to hire uh, lots of people. So they were they were taking only two rounds of interview, but it's generally three rounds of interview as far as I know. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So can you explain to us a bit about the interview process and what kind of questions did they ask you in the interview uh so the first round was uh, dsa only so the mm -hmm. interview started with like oh, what were the question in my OA uh, so i he asked me the approach okay. which i took uh for solving that questions and he just asked uh, like what was the time complexity and then after 10 15 minutes he give to solve uh one question uh which was again of uh, array uh medium mm -hmm. so and uh, so i was able to solve it uh, like uh, in in a, in a very less much time so he gave me another question uh, that was of a uh, graph but it was a standard question so mm -hmm. so i was able to solve uh, both of them and like uh, he was pretty much impressed so the second round went well yeah mm -hmm. okay so the first interview was about totally about dsa uh, yeah totally about dsa on yeah and uh, like in mid mm -hmm. in the mid mid they were asking some uh, behavioral type of question also since they don't have that third third round so it's like mixed of uh, behavioral plus uh, dsa kind of mm -hmm. okay and uh, so this was the first interview what about the interview after that uh, so, so the second uh, round of interview was like uh, lld uh, low level design plus mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are also they have asked some question like manager type questions hmm. uh, situation yeah so the question uh, which they asked me was related to a uh, token bucket so he asked me to, uh, like what is the implementation and uh, about rate limiting and uh, our he also asked about our infrastructure uh, like while i was in no way so uh, how's the platform and a few questions he asked and uh, he just told me to implement uh, token bucket but uh, since uh, i was not that much familiar i've read about it but i was not familiar with uh, the actual implementation so he helped me throughout but i was able to uh, solve that so uh, that round also went well i can say mm, nice nice so this was the final round of interview right? this was the final round and uh, we had like a hr round like just over the call nothing as mm, like, like a formality like a formality Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So we can say that the interviews were primarily focused on DSA and then a little bit of LLD. Any other kind of questions did they ask? Any other topic they went into? Uh, no, I was expecting like uh, they will be asking core Java questions, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, they were they were not. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it was for a Java developer role, right? As, as in the tech stack uh, would be Java. It right? will be like a Spring Boot uh, Java. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. that he asked me one uh, my SQL like SQL related question as well. Uh, in this mm -hmm. uh, first round of interview, uh, the second round. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. I was also there. Mm -hmm. 
Right, right, right. Okay, so we can safely say that if someone wants to crack Paytm, they need to be good in DSA because, you know, the rounds will be DSA heavy, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, like they'll ask the system uh, which we are currently working on. So mm -hmm. they'll ask few questions there also. So it's like uh, you cannot just mug up those things. It's like very natural yeah. to know about your system. Not from then only you can answer those questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. You know, so speaking of that, we'd like to know more about your preparation, you know, ki how did you prepare to come up to a level that you could crack all the rounds of Paytm? What was the preparation journey like? Uh, mm -hmm. So my preparation was not basically for Paytm only. Uh, so it was a, uh, like nobody prepares for a specific company. Mm, one company. <laughs> so it's like uh, you have to prepare, like brush up uh, DSA and uh, coding, like uh, during my college day, I used to code in C++ and currently I'm using Java for last two years. So like syntax mm. and all a bit different. So that you have to like uh, some put give some hands on so that uh, you can brush up. So in, in during interview, you don't have to like uh, think oh, what what I need to write mm. already. Yeah. No, but uh, because of uh, syntax, uh, we might face some time issue. So those things uh, for that we can uh, what we say, practice the questions on lead code or whatever platform you're comfortable with. And for Core Java, it's like uh, you have to study, obviously, like multi threading. Mm. Lots of things are there. Uh, so, pool and everything. And your Spring Boot also, like you have to press up. Like there are lots of things which you, we won't be working in our system, uh, but they might be a very good interview questions. So that you hmm. prepare and uh, MySQL and all like uh, SQL queries and all like you will be familiar if you have already working uh, with that. Yeah. So so that's pretty much. And if uh, there is a, a plus point, if you are like good at networking and like AWS, uh, like whatever the cloud uh, systems are there, if you are aware of that, then that will be a plus point, I would say. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much. <laughs> Right, right. So any kind, any specific resources or any specific strategy did you use for preparation or did you just like prepare randomly with online resources? Mm -hmm. Not I was following any like uh, any particular resources like for uh, um, I was practicing graph questions and uh, like medium level graph questions, array questions. So for that I used lead code and whatever solution I was not there like uh, we, we can easily find everything in YouTube like Mm. Uh, it's time yeah, playlist yeah. is there you can refer that so his hd state is also good but you, uh, like yeah so that's that's what you can if you want to prepare you can refer that uh, and if you want to like uh, practice like uh, um, system design related questions uh, there is a site uh, i don't remember actually what it was uh, so I'll, once i'll i'll get it i'll this description uh, and uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much like i don't follow i have not followed any uh, particular resources for preparing uh, like co java questions or uh, spring boot related question you can use uh, gpt uh, so you can just uh, tell him ask me that 10 uh, 10 interview questions so he'll uh, tell you the question and if you know the answer that's fine or else you can ask him the, that as well so yeah so that's that's all what you can do all right so we've talked about your preparation we've talked about the interview process of paytm so on a final note to all of the people who are watching this video what advice or tips would you like to give to them so that they can also crack a company like paytm like whatever uh, if you are a uh, fresher then you should re really focus on the dsa uh co java and uh, sql so that will uh, suffice but uh, obviously uh, learning computer networks and os is a plus point i would say and for experienced uh, people uh, like you have to know like what's going uh, around your system uh, like current current platform where you're working so like in all the hiring manager rounds like everyone have asked me uh, what is the current like they have asked related question to my current platform uh, like uh, while, while I was in Nove. So they might ask you those questions. So be, you have to be prepared for that because these things you cannot prepare like just for interview. It's like if you are in the system, you know what what, what is going. So that's that's what I would say uh, for experienced person. Yeah. Okay, so that's some wonderful advice. And I think that covers pretty much everything about IU's journey to cracking Paytm and Paytm's interview process and how someone can crack a company like Paytm. So thanks a lot, Ayush, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers. I hope to help a lot of students. So yeah, thank you. Thank you.